Well, mate, we're cruising along. Crossing number two. Yeah. And then within another 600 metres, I think we cross it again another three. three. Six, <laughs> six or eight times or something. So here we go. Out here, eh? Bog just a little bit. After the completion of Haunted Stream Track, we push on through the clouds in search of camp for the night. Not knowing the area and not knowing where we'll end up, there's only one way to find out, and that's to keep rolling on and see what we find. So we're just cruising along uh, McDonald Road. This this is called. We've come up off Haunted Stream. Um, cruised along a little bit. And now we are, yeah, just looking for a camp. Um, could be a hut, could be a, could be down by the river. Uh, so yeah. McDonald's hut. So it's not quite where it shows on the map. But here it is. Does someone actually live in here? Yeah, it's just a hut. Or do they make it up? This must be the kitchen where they have food and stuff. And then this is where their bedroom is. That's the bedroom, eh? Yeah. So we were going to stay here tonight, but we might keep pushing on and try to get a spot down on Wentworth. Um, worst case, we can come back to this if we want. There's plenty of room in here to throw out a couple of swags. Nothing flash. Um, really, a roof over your head if the weather was bad. So, yeah, McDonald's hut. little track down into hopefully where we'll be camping tonight. About halfway and I'm about to dodge a big tree. Hard to imagine there's a big campsite down the bottom of this. I know right. With a waterfall marked on the map down on the Wentworth, we decided to venture down this track, cross our fingers, and hope for a site big enough to squeeze us all in. Being so overgrown doesn't look good. That camp we're hoping for down at Wentworth is uh, just real shrubby and uh, not enough room for us. So uh, we're all swinging around, head back out and check out another spot. Beautiful descent, this one on Dane's track. So it's gonna drop us down on the Wentworth shortly and hopefully we can get a spot there. This track is so overgrown, it's the worst. Um, I guess, yeah, being locked up for two years, not being able to get out here and drive the tracks, everything's just absolutely, yeah, gone berserk and no good. Plenty of pinstripes on the car. I'll get a photo of this, back in a minute. This is a ripper descent. Besides the track being overgrown as hell for the most part, the descent down is absolutely cracker. Um, reminds us a lot of sort of Burgoynes or sort of Champion Spur. 
um, when you're dropping down in the valley there. Good little track. So this is camp, mate. Not sort of what we're hoping for. We're hoping for a little bit of a gem, but yeah. after all this rain we've had, after the little use it's had up here, everything's just so overgrown. The grass is just long as everywhere, so we had to track out this one a bit. Clean it, was, it up. And, yeah, clean yeah. it up. And all this was long grass and whatnot, so yeah, a few wheel tracks over it, trumpled it a bit, and yeah, flattened it back out and Got made us up a campsite. Like. All the trees that had fallen down, sort of like cleaned them all up, and yeah, yeah so. Yeah, but it is what it is. You get that some like new areas. It's that always that thing. You don't know what you're going to find until you get there. Correct. Yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, today we've got a bit of a climb out. One little issue though. The nav is broken. Yeah, <laughs> she uh, what blue solenoid. We're thinking it is possibly. Um, yeah, we've got a scan gauge. Come up with like glow plug error like code. Um, but it's just yeah, just yeah. got no boost. So it runs. Um, it's in limp mode. So I'm just gonna have to yeah see yeah. how it goes if it. So Climbs up. <laughs> yeah, if not, we're just going to hook the patrol up him. Um, it's not worth because it's a fair climb out of here we, from what we can gather. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to just hook the patrol up and we'll just tow him <laughs> most of the way to Dargo. If it needs to, we'll put another patrol in front of him and take two. See <laughs> so, how we go. So, yeah, it could be interesting. It might be a bit of fun, but yeah. I doubt it'd be fun. Yeah, <laughs> the, the whole rain all night too isn't going to help the situation. No, so. so, let's see how we go. Stay tuned for this one. Tuck yeah. A bit of brekkie. Free brekkie, we'll have a coffee and then we'll pack up and hit the road and see how we go. So I had known. Hope let's see if we've got some action for you. Sweet. Alright girls, all set, ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, you ready to go again? Yeah. Yeah. Got all your books? Yep. All organised, ready to do some reading while we're on the tracks, mate? Yeah. Yeah. What book are you reading, mate? This one. What's it called? Show me the other side. Timmy the Tick Love Pony. And, and the Pool of Excitement. <laughs> 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 what a cracker. <laughs> Just like that, straight out of camp, the fire starts blowing some white smoke. Keep our eye on it, make sure it doesn't change colour, and hope that it clears up. It's overgrown, overgrown, mate. <laughs> this is a joke. You get another overgrown track. It's times like this where having the push barriers on the car pays itself off in no time. Cruising along, tree across the track, so we'll clear that up and keep moving. Okay. <laughs> time to get the big girl out, mate. The big AEG, mate. <laughs> Electric or nothing. Ch charge those batteries. Oh, there she is. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> the big donga. <laughs> We always carry a petrol source backup, but with the electric chainsaws being so quiet, being so easy to operate, 
we like to use them every opportunity we can. There we go. Makes light work. Free number one. Atta boy. Ooh. With the rain last night, it's made this little descent pretty slippery. Being careful not to be too heavy on the brakes, or you can end up in a slide. Rolling down, keeping that forward momentum, tyres clean, it's not too bad. Yeah, so I'm um, just going to pull this out, get down flat up there, and you'll have to jack her up. Yeah, roll her out. With Benny's car not bending in the most yep. ideal position to change a tyre after popping a bead, we decided to roll it further down the hill onto flatter ground. It makes it easier to jack up the car and do the swap. With the bead being full of mud also, we decide it's easier to change the tyre rather than to try to clean out the bead and reinstate it. These tracks, the more traffic you get on them, the slipperier they get and you can see each car coming down. It's having a little bit more fun sliding around. Crossed up. <laughs> Just slow there, that's where Benny did the bead. What's going on here, mate? The old bead popper. The bead popper. A bit of a showstopper until we do the swapper. <laughs> Down here, isn't it? Hey, that campsite back there, that's what we wanted. That yes. one last night, yeah. but yeah. nice, nice grassy area. Yeah, the river was right there. Uh, that was probably another hour. Oh, easy another hour. Yeah. Almost probably at least 40 minutes on uh, where we camped last night, so we rolled in. Probably. That was probably like close to 6 o'clock, anyway, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty close, 5 30, 6 o'clock when we got there, so yeah, yeah you got to sometimes just go, this will do, call it because you. Yeah, don't know what you'll find. You don't know what's, what's coming up it when you haven't done nothing. Could be, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh well, keep pushing. That's it, mate. The nabs, uh, the nabs, doing its thing. Yeah. It's Getting forward. up there. We're doing alright. We haven't had to put a strap on you yet. So yeah. we have another nice climb coming out of Murdering Spur. So, so there we go. There we go. Just, just, just trucking along. Yeah, it's doing its job. Doing its thing. <laughs> mate, you dropped a bloody wheel. <laughs> How did you do that? I just popped out when I busted. Bumped in. That's odd. Oops. <laughs>
with only run 33s on the GU, this little hole's got Benny sitting on his stiff pumpkins. Time to pull it backwards slowly and tackle it from another angle. Hold up. So you can sit on the high side. Drive it. You're all right, mate. Straight at With the river crossings done, it's time to get some elevation. And these climbs ahead of us are looking like being some fun. Here we go. Energy, you! There you go, buddy. Boost solenoid issues still present in the Navarra, Mix really got his work cut out for him. And that's where it all gets interesting. <laughs> Camera here isn't really doing this justice. Mix got it, buddy. <laughs> that's how steep it is. <laughs> that was always on my head. But, um, yeah, wheel in the air, a uh, bit of a dicey angle, so we'll run the winch up, pull him up, saves uh, any mischief. How's that hook, Benny? Yeah, you're alright, right, mate. Very okay, Dave. Yeah, real good, mate. The tree, no good. No, it's just waving. Moving a little bit then. Yeah, he's all right. All right, keep coming slowly, mate. Yeah, he's safe now. Hold up a sec. Yeah. Camera. See. Woo! Woo! How, how was that, mate? Yeah, that was pucker. 
She was up there. <laughs> <laughs> that did not feel good at all. We only had the smallest tree as well to hook him onto, um, but it held. We had all eyes on it and it was, it was safe. Thank the Lord. That's it mate, that's another end of a trip. The Dago pub, that's where we've ended it. Yeah. It's been a bit of a mission getting here. There's been some fun tracks, there's been plenty of water. Ooh, a couple of hill climbs. That horn extreme, eh? Oh mate, that buddy, yeah, that was, that was a good track. It was good, we've had a few we little issues. That. A few little issues as well, got the nav with some issues. It's just uh, ants thrown out, um, his, his steer alignment. Like so. that. Yeah. yeah, he's got his back wheels towing out a mile. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right. Benny had to winch a couple of times. I've oh, winched once. Yeah, the bead off Benny popped a bead. But yeah, mate, it was awesome. It's probably the really. furthest east we've been. Um, there's plenty more out there to explore. We'll have to so get back out here. Just, yeah. I reckon we need three days. Two is not quite enough. Nah, definitely not. You need to take Friday, I reckon. Friday or a Monday, and then yeah. But yeah, I just love this town though. It's so picturesque. Yeah, it's bloody good pub, good, good feed. If you have a look around in there, play a bit of I Spies, you'll find a couple of our stickers too. <laughs> right. Oh, well, I guess we will air up and then I've got to try and link this baby home. Oh, well, we might hook the strap on and <laughs> just I'll help you out, mate. <laughs> what do you reckon? Who knows? Might even have to call for a tow truck, so. See how we go. See how we go. All right, I hope you enjoy the episode and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.